Hello, Liddy here. Um, we're looking through the Lord's Prayer, so let's read it together. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honoured. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us our food for today and forgive us our sins, just as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And Father, I just ask that you would show us today what it is you want us to see, what it is you want us to hear. Spirit, that would be open to you. Amen. Um, the line that I've been asked to, to look at is, on earth as it is in heaven. Um, which I found a challenge, which probably says a lot about me. Um, I think the first thing that, that struck me is on earth as it is in heaven is that interplay between the physical and the spiritual and how how connected both are how much we can impact the spiritual world through our physical lives and how much the spiritual world can impact us and how we can we can change things in both um in both realms as it were um which made me think on earth as it is in heaven is so much about prayer, isn't it? Is that's how we bring heaven to earth. It's it's through interceding for people and in situations and um, and praying in Jesus' name um, to see His will be done here. To stand in that gap for people um, and to to lift them up to Jesus and to lift situations to Jesus, knowing that He has given us all authority. Um, in his name and to take that seriously as well and to believe that I can come boldly and ask to see heaven on earth and know that God is listening that he wants to act um, and I heard this challenge this week which maybe isn't a challenge for you but it, it was a challenge for me of uh, we often pray in such a passive such a passive way you know, would we even know if God answered our prayers from this last week? If God answered everything that you have prayed this week, how would your life be different? What would you have seen happen? And sometimes I am so passive um, in how I pray. Would I even know? Do I ask Jesus boldly um, for things, to see changes in my friends' lives, to see changes amongst the homeless here? Um, to see changes in Sapenya with our Roma friends or with our friends in prison. You know, how am I how am I praying in line with His will to see heaven on earth today, this week in my area? Am I am I taking that seriously? Is possibly the wrong word, but am I really entering into the joy and the privilege of what that means for me, or am I? Um, taking it all quite lightly and not really not really engaging with the responsibility that I have been given, the authority that I've been given, and also the joy that comes with all of that, that comes with um, with praying in line with Jesus will and and seeing situations change and lives change and man, I know that it's prayer is a mystery and God is a mystery and um, and sometimes I feel that's why I can be quite passive as a way of almost protecting against disappointment or or protecting against not understanding why sometimes we do see God do incredible things and sometimes we don't and I don't know why I don't know why there's a difference um, but I do know that God asks us to come boldly and he does ask us to intercede for people and he does ask us to bring heaven to earth and obviously that is that is so much in prayer isn't it and and that is what has been one of the biggest joys for me in living in Ibiza is just all the prayer walking that we've been able to do especially in those early years when we just had no idea of what we were doing here or why we we're here so what what was there to do but to to get out there praying and looking for what God was saying and and is saying to us now. Um, but 
Prayer always leads us to action as well, doesn't it? And bringing heaven on earth is so much about how we live, how we treat people, um, how we treat the earth. Um, so I suppose for me, often my outworking of heaven on earth is, is trying to treat people as Jesus would treat people, trying to live life alongside those um, that God is calling us to. So in our in our situation, it's um, with homeless friends and with our Roma Gypsy friends and our friends in the prison and um, and being having that joyful role of mediating for them and interceding for them and um, and seeing God working in their lives. And I mean, I suppose heaven on earth is is going back to the original the original plan, isn't it, of being in relationship, a close, intimate relationship with God, walking and talking with him um, and being, um, just being with him, isn't it? And, and, and that is the heart of it all. And, and that is the heart of heaven on earth for me is, is, is being in all of this with, with the Father who loves us and knows us intimately and having the joy of praying that for people here, for situations here, that God would be right in the middle of it with people. Um, and how much more could that be heaven on earth than, be, than God being right in the middle of stuff with us and working in situations and, and working for the good of those who love him. And um, so I think my challenge for us, for me personally, this week would be to come to God's throne boldly, to ask him boldly um, for things this week, to pray in his name, um, to, to ask him what heaven on earth looks like in this situation this week with this person or in this issue, um, and to pray and believe that he is working, that he is intimately involved that he um the answer to god's prayers is us praying and us being um us making ourselves available to him and to others and seeking his kingdom here on earth